What's up, people? You have found the KO Report, and I'm Scott Killian. Today, we are checking out the Black Rock in Portage, Michigan, and I'm going to let you know if it's a KO or just okay. Stick around. <laughs> Welcome back to another installment of the KO Report. I'm glad you're here. Just to kind of give you a heads up about this, the Black Rock is a restaurant in Portage, Michigan that I have just became a fan of. And I found out now that they have multiple locations, but I was in Portage, actually Kalamazoo. They're, they border each other. Uh, staying at a hotel and going that weekend uh, to the big house with my buddy Don Stoner. He's an old Navy friend and, and a, a, just a super, super great individual. They don't come any better. And I'm, I'm thankful for the friendship that we've had through the military and then even after, and it's, it's thanks to social media why we've been able to stay together uh, as friends. And this guy will give you the shirt off his back. He is a diehard Michigan fan, which has been uh, fun over the years. I've been fortunate enough to uh, uh, be in the military with him when uh, Michigan and UNC was uh, together in the uh, NCAA tournament and Michigan had the Fab Five and uh, one of their knuckleheads called a, um, uh, a timeout and they didn't have any left. So it was a technical foul, which put Carolina on the line and got them the lead and then in turn got them uh, the ball back where they could run out the clock. Uh, so I ribbed him about that for years until Appalachian State came up to Michigan, which is, I'm, I live near Boone, North Carolina, and App State became the giant slayer. They really got on the map this weekend in 2017, uh, or 2000, was it 2007? 2007, when they came up and beat Michigan at Michigan. So that was a big thing. And Honest to goodness, he's been a good sport about it. And over the years, uh, Michigan has been very dominant. Uh, they beat my Tar Heels in basketball several times since then. But uh, it is a, it's a good-hearted uh, relationship that we have, and I'm very thankful for him. So first of all, thank you, Don, for this. Thank you for joining me tonight for dinner uh, as we are going to the Black Rock. And I'll go ahead and tell you now, it's a KO. And we'll get into the video here with the dinner uh, as soon as we get there i'll do some recordings there but some things i want to share about this the location i'm going to is 530 trade center way portage michigan i've got my cheat sheet here uh it is open daily from 11 to 11 and they have locations in michigan florida and ohio with michigan having 10 locations florida having five and ohio having two those locations are in michigan heartland and arbor Canton, Canton, uh, get my glasses on here, Woodhaven, uh, Utica, I hope I said that right, Davison, Novi, Portage, Grand Rapids, and White Lake. Florida has Tampa, Brandon, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and Coral Springs. Ohio, you have uh, locations in Toledo and Beaver Creek. So a little bit of background about this. I was up here just before COVID. We went to a ball game together and I stayed at a Homewood Suites, which was a very nice hotel right behind this location in Portage. We went there to eat dinner one evening and it was phenomenal. They bring out this black rock and I'm, they will tell me tonight uh, how hot it is. I want to say it's 12, 1400 degrees and you pick a steak out and they set it on it and you cook your own steak at your table and it is phenomenal. I've got some pictures that I'll load up uh, to show you as well from my first visit there, as well as a couple of things I stole off their website, and then we will get right into the meal. So let's check it out. We have arrived at the Black Rock, and this is my buddy Stoner. Say hey. Hey, how's it going? Good deal. All right. Um, 
So our appetizers just arrived, volcano shrimp and a lobster dip. And now, let's say it's 700 degrees, these rocks. 755. 755. This comes out in a, a tray that's almost like porcelain. I'm not sure what that is. And then there's a metal rack here and then the rocks on it. The rock 700 or stone is 755 degrees and they put the steak on it, which you can kind of see is starting to sear. You can probably hear it. And then there's a garlic butter here that when you it'll start to melt as you can see and then you can tell how the, the meat is cooking and you can flip over and here in about a minute and a half two minutes I can start eating a rare steak so each time you take a bite it's a different texture and you choose how long you want to cook it so i will let this cook a little bit more let's take a look at uh, your food what'd you order i ordered the dynamite chicken right it's got the uh, chicken it's got shrimp andouille sausage jalapeno peppers mushrooms uh cherry tomatoes and it's on a bed of rice and it comes with a uh, Louisiana Dream sauce. Nice, nice, good deal. Okay, still a lot of cooking left to be done, unless you like your steaks raw. I can get a little bit of this butter. Flip over now. We got a medium rare, and that's right up my alley. Woo! Mm. Perfection. All right, we're about two minutes into this. You can see, I did cheat a little bit. I was putting it on its side to cook until there. The middle's not done. Just take a little bit of this butter and put on. And then take a bite. So it's taken a little while to cook thoroughly. The steak was so thick. The waiter recommended cutting it up into chunks, put some of the butter in, which you can see here. And now all of these steak bites are about at the temperature that I would eat. And one of the cool things about it, if your side dish, which I've got the cream corn, it has a little bit of bacon bits in it. It's so good. If it gets room temperature, you put it on the rock and it warms back up. You can't go wrong here. Absolutely love it. The only thing better is the company I have. Hi. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so check check out this dessert. What did he say it was called? The volcano. The volcano. So underneath here is a quarter sheet of brownie. You can see the ice cream covered in whipped cream with a cone in the middle and caramel and chocolate sauce. And this is enough for four, but we're gonna to try to knock it out. <laughs> All right, so I'm headed back home, stopped at this um, refreshment place to uh, stretch my legs, uh, make a fluid adjustment and uh, get on headed back. But uh, the dinner was fantastic. Stoner actually picked up the tab. Thank you, buddy, for that. Uh, it's hard to uh, uh, really express how good of a friend he's been over the years, but uh, uh, kudos to him uh, for that and the, the friendship that's spanned for as long as it has. Dude, I, I love you, buddy. 
Uh, also, if you know Don Stoner, ask him about his breath freshener. He'll be glad, uh, and that's quotation marks, to tell you more about it. But uh, this is Scott Killian wrapping up this video for the KO Report on the Blackstone Grill. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, we're almost to a thousand subscribers, and I'm stoked about that. Uh, and lastly, if you have ate at one of these yourself, let me know about it. Tell me uh, which location you ate at, what you had, what you thought about it. Uh, until then, take care.